Alright, we're at Loomis Park. There you see the, the berm, so over that berm is the ocean. And there's Ocean Drive. We are at 12th and Ocean Drive. We're just doing to it's uh it's Saturday morning. About 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Just gonna sh walk down the the bike path here, walking path, boardwalk. What do you want to call it? I don't know. The beach walk. But yeah, it's uh, early in the morning. But it's a Saturday. We got a lot of exercisers out. Let's see what uh, let's see what we see between here and we'll walk down to past the Lowe's. See the good, the bad, and the and the fancy. So when you hear the jing, 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 look out! That means the bicycle's coming right up your ass. playground area for the kitties. They've ended the uh, curfew. Miami Beach uh, high impact zone. <laughs> 8 p.m. curfew was disbanded this week. So Thursday and Friday it was everything was fully open down here until the midnight curfew that Miami Dade has on. But the Miami Dade County curfew of midnight will end on April 12th. So that'll be next, or this week. So then it'll be, hey, bars, stay open till 5 a.m. Come on, people, stay on out on the street till 5 a.m. So South Beach will almost be back to normal. And we'll see what happens then. The midnight curfew for, for the county was all about COVID spread. The uh, 8 p.m. curfew in the high impact zone of South Beach had nothing to do with COVID. It was to protect the citizens, the residents, the travelers, the tourists, and the workers because there was too much violence going on once the sun set Thursday through Sunday during the high impact period, which was uh, beginning of March till the middle of April. But things calmed down, so they lifted the ban. So we've had a string of uh, bright, sunny, dry days down here highs of about 80 degrees similar today good breeze 10 mile an hour breeze so if you're in the in the swimming pool it's a little chilly when you get out but that sun is hot when you're sitting in the sun <clears throat> Expecting a little bit of a front to move through on Sunday afternoon, early evening. So we may see a little bit of small amount of rain tomorrow. Maybe. 50 50.
Very peaceful at Loomis Park generally. I wonder if they're ever gonna let those uh, the little uh, Saturday Sunday market open up here again. They used to right along this area here between uh, I don't know 12th Street and 14th Street. 12th Street, 15th Street. They uh, let them set up a little flea market every Saturday and Sunday in the morning, early afternoon. But I don't know. So I saw on Facebook that they, the guy that was running it, it's all pissed off now because the city won't let him set it up because of COVID or something. So I think they're never going to be back. A lot of, a lot of disgruntled residents in uh, South Beach these days. They got an election coming up. And we'll see what happens after the election. See if we get any new new blood into leadership. So they can start heading things in a, the way the residents want to go rather than the way the club owners want to go in the uh, policies and where they spend their money. And whether or not Ocean Drive is going to stay closed to vehicular traffic. That's a major decision. Uh, I don't have any specific views on it one way or the other. Okay, we now are at the end of Loomis Park. And uh, now it continues on from here from uh, 15th Street. Continues on as the formal beach walk no more park you just have the beach walk and on one side you got the beach and on the other side you got the hotels and condos but you still have all the people exercising that's what it's here for everybody to get out and get some exercise and for its beauty Yeah, beach walk. I got the word right. Wasn't boardwalk. Wasn't bike path. It's the beach walk. So yeah, we go from the low-rise boutique hotels to these high-rise condos and high-rise hotels. If I know the name of them, I'll call them out. This is the this is the new one. It's. Oh my God! I'm gonna right on park on the park edge matter of fact it seems like the name of that building is something like park edge or something like park overview so the beach walk you get a uh, good amount of shade and sun as you can see a lot of uh a lot of vegetation. They keep it uh, very well maintained. They keep opening up more and more going north. I think I just read from 25th Street up through 39th Street or something. They just opened up a section this last week. But yeah, as you can see, it's really nice. Till a group of bicyclists come around a corner and knock you off your ass. Knock you on your ass. So be careful out here, folks. Nobody's out at the beach yet. It's too early. But you can tell by the number of uh, beach chairs they got set up. It's crowded, and I was looking at uh, hotel prices for this weekend, and oh my God, they are skyrocketed. So this this uh, South Beach is full, full. No room at the inn. I didn't get out after dark last night, So I can't tell you how uh, Ocean Drive was, whether it was calm or crazy or violent. But I am going to get out tonight. 
So we're here at, this first one is the uh, Royal Palm. They don't, uh, they got an entrance here, but don't give you much view of the hotel. There we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Looks like you got a little yoga class going on up there. That's the Royal Palm. Now the one with the dome is the Royal Palm. I think that's part of it too. And then is Lowe's. So yeah, Lowe's is just, you know, one, two blocks off of, um, off of, uh, Loomis Park. Wonderful high-end hotel. Beautiful pool area. A lot of people down at the pool there. You gotta get down early and get your chair reserved at those kind of places. <laughs> and then you get a motorized bike comes through. Boy, I really knock you on your ass if they hit you. You'll be going to the hospital. And this condo here is called the uh, Georgian or something like that. Small little place, not uh, not available for. That's owners owners only, maybe long term rental, but certainly not any short term rental. And then the Deco Plage building. They got a nice pool up on top there. That does have short term rental, but not short short it's 30 day minimum to rent a place at that condo they don't want the uh, coming three nights uh, vacation or they want the ones uh, that are coming to town to stay for <clears throat> for the snow bunnies that come to stay for the whole winter you know that kind of thing different kind of clientele and your and then your weekend one week tourist all right let's see we got the next one here is the Ritz Carlton but they're doing a bunch of work up here I'm not gonna go into that so needless to say there is the uh, Ritz Carlton we're right this is Lincoln Road Matter of fact, we'll sneak by here and go down Lincoln Road. But yeah, the first two blocks of Lincoln Road here on uh, near the ocean and Collins and then Washington is, is open to vehicle traffic. Lincoln Road becomes a pedestrian mall after Washington, between Washington and eventually Lenox down there. And Lincoln Road being a tourist or place where a lot of people tend to congregate sometimes. Of course, Ocean Drive is much more of a 
place to congregate, but Lincoln Road, hey, you got a little, we got a little Miami Beach Police substation right here at Lincoln Road. And the, they can get in here and watch, see what's going on. I wouldn't call it a substation. What do you call them things? A little, little bird's eye, bird's eye view contraption. Anyway, I did see about 15 police cars all lined up here, ready to take action if anything went crazy last night. All right, we're going to end it there. There's the Ritz-Carlton entrance there. All right, more videos coming.